I'm Ovi. How are you guys doing? Um, we all enjoy stories. Um, stories come in many different forms of media, which you can see some of here. Growing up, I loved to read comics and to watch movies. After I finished high school, I also rediscovered reading as I didn't have to read books on the school reading list anymore. I could read the books that I wanted. Um, they were a great form of entertainment, but they also offered ideas that I never would have thought of had they not been in the context of a narrative. The more I got into books and comics and movies, I started to see how they impacted and sort of guided my outlook on everything. They sort of made me think about myself and the goals in my life. I soon realized how important storytelling is to all of us and how it plays a big part of how we think and figure things out for ourselves. Different forms of storytelling are all around us. Um, we've, as we've advanced in technology, we've also developed various creative ways to tell stories. Let's go through a little bit of history. At the beginning, we would sit around the campfire uh, hunt and talk about our day of hunting and gathering. We soon figured out how to draw on caves and eventually turn symbols into written language. From there, we developed writing stories in a packaged form on paper so we could pass on to others. We also put on live performances for audiences and developed the performing arts. And as modes of transportation evolved, the delivery of both of these forms of storytelling also expand. Soon comes the revolution of the printing press. And stories, our written stories are distributed on a mass scale in forms of books and newspapers, allowing us to learn about our world faster and easier than ever before. Additionally, technology soon gives us the ability to take photographs that accompany written stories and are able to even tell stories of their own. And as a further evolution of packaging stories, uh, recorded sound and eventually video creates its own art form of storytelling and brings to us our modern times of film and television. Storytelling with sight and sound makes enjoying a story more accessible. Who doesn't enjoy a good movie or TV show? And with everyone having a TV in their home, the audience is bigger than ever before. It also gives us a greater amount of choice in the kinds of stories we enjoy and has led to a form of interactive storytelling, video games. And as technology shapes the stories we tell, it really seems like the need for storytelling is what develops some of these technologies. With digital media and the internet, nearly all forms of packaged storytelling are all available in an instant at your fingertips. We're going through a shift of technology that affects nearly all forms of media and telling stories before it. From reading news and books, listening to audio broadcasts, watching movies and TV shows, and so on. It's all available on our computers, our TVs, our mobile phones, or new kinds of devices like the Kindle or the iPad. Tools for creating and sharing stories are also becoming easier to use. Anyone can tell their stories online and share them with the world very easily, either on their own personal website, a blog, or on Twitter. Everyone is now their own publisher. And with everything being digital, there's new potential creative ways of storytelling, like mixed media storytelling, for example, where you would have a written story, but you could have videos throughout it that you could play and interact with. So all this has led me to developing Indie Isle a project that I've been working on for about a year and a half now, as a platform specifically designed for storytelling in the digital internet age. Authors, anybody who wants to write a story, can promote their stories using various tools, and the sales and distribution is all handled online. And all, all of us that enjoy new and original stories can read them on various devices. Um, the, the project is almost complete, actually. You could take a look at IndieIsle.com for more information. And it should go up in November. And if you want to sign up for the beta, go to IndieIsle.com slash sign up. Thank you.